Everyday Life English Conversation Personal Question So, John, what's been on your mind lately? Well, I've been thinking a lot about my career lately. I'm not really sure if I'm in the right job. Oh, I see. What are you thinking about doing instead? I'm not sure yet. I've always been interested in writing, but I'm not sure if I'm good enough to make a living at it. Well, I think you're a great writer. You're always so creative and articulate. Thanks, Sarah. That means a lot. So, what else have you been up to lately? Not much. Just work in school. I'm taking a night class on creative writing. That's great. I'm sure that will help you with your career goals. I hope so. So, what's your biggest dream in life? I guess my biggest dream is to be a successful writer. I want to write books and screenplays that people will love. That's a great dream. I'm sure you can achieve it if you set your mind to it. Thanks, Sarah. I appreciate your support. You're welcome. So, Sarah, what about you? What's been on your mind lately? Well, I've been thinking a lot about my relationships lately. I'm not sure if I'm in the right relationship with my boyfriend. Oh, I see. What are you thinking about doing? I'm not sure yet. I'm still trying to figure things out. Well, I'm here for you if you need to talk. Thanks, John. I appreciate that. So, what's your biggest dream in life? My biggest dream is to find true love. I want to be with someone who loves me for who I am and who I want to be. That's a great dream. I'm sure you'll find that person someday. I hope so. Asking for and giving directions. Excuse me, can you tell me how to get to the nearest bank? Sure. The nearest bank is on Main Street, across from the post office. Thank you. How far is it? It's about a 10-minute walk. Okay, thanks again. Wait, which way is Main Street? Main Street is that way. Great. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Sarah walks down the street in the direction that John pointed. Talking about the weather. Two friends, Sarah and John are sitting on a park bench on a sunny day. It's a beautiful day today, isn't it? It sure is. I love the sunshine and the warm weather. Me too. What are you planning on doing today? I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll go for a walk or ride my bike. That sounds like a good plan. I might go to the beach or the pool. That sounds fun, too. I hope it stays sunny the rest of the day. Me, too. I hate it when the weather is cloudy and rainy. 
Yeah, me too. It puts me in a bad mood. I know what you mean. I'm much happier when the sun is shining. Me too. It's just so much more enjoyable to be outside when it's nice weather. I agree. So, what else have you been up to lately? Not much. Just work and school. Same here. But I'm trying to make more time for fun activities. I'm going to go to a concert next week. That sounds cool. What kind of music do they play? Indie rock. Nice. I like indie rock. Do you want to go with me? Sure, I'd love to go. Great. I'll pick you up at 7 o'clock on the day of the concert. Sounds good. Sarah and John continue to talk about the weather and other topics for a while longer. Talking about current events. Two friends, Sarah and John, are sitting at a coffee shop. Did you hear about the new AI chatbot that can write articles and poems? Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? I can't believe how realistic it is. I know, right? It's like talking to a human. I wonder what the implications are for the future of journalism and writing. I think it's definitely a game changer. It will be interesting to see how it evolves. What else have you been following in the news lately? I've been following the war in Ukraine very closely. It's just so heartbreaking to see the innocent people who are being affected by it. Me too. It's a terrible situation. I hope it ends soon. I agree. What about you? What else have you been following in the news? I've been following the midterm elections in the U.S. It's going to be an important election, so I'm paying close attention. Me too. I'm hoping for a change in leadership. We'll have to see how it goes. Yeah. But it's important to vote, no matter what. I agree completely. So, what are your thoughts on the current state of the world? It's a tough time, but I'm hopeful for the future. I think we're on the verge of some major breakthroughs in technology and medicine. I'm also hopeful that we can start to solve some of the world's biggest problems, like climate change and poverty. I share your optimism. I think there are a lot of good people in the world working to make it a better place. I agree. And it's important to remember that we can all make a difference, even if it's just in our own small way. That's true. Every little bit helps. Sarah and John continue to talk about current events and other topics for a while longer. Thank you for watching this English lesson. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave a comment below. To continue your English learning journey, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. You can also like and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you again for watching.